Hi, it's Terry. I'd like to show you my shortcut binding finish today. As you can see, I prepared my binding. I cut two and a half inch strips, sewed them together, and pressed it in half. To get the end ready, I'll fold it under at an angle and press. And then I'm going to trim that edge down to a quarter inch. So this is what I've got. When I refold that and press, you can see the raw edges are along here and you have a little teepee shape. That means you've got it facing in the right direction. Begin stitching right at the angled edge. I'm using a quarter inch seam and I've got my raw edges even. I've stitched all the way around my project and I'm back to the starting point. I trimmed my binding just a little bit shorter than that original teepee. I'm going to tuck it in and just continue stitching all the way to the end. I'll just overlap my stitches about a half inch. I placed a pin at the end and then all I need to do is wrap the binding around to the back and stitch it in place by hand or machine. Use this shortcut binding finish for quilts and small projects like the Snack Shack Hot Pads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.